Hi, and uh, thank you to everyone for joining us on this first Travel Tech in 20. Really appreciate uh, you taking the time out of your day uh, to just get a, a quick briefing uh, on some travel technology that's really changing uh, the scope of what we do in the travel industry. Um, we, we found out that, that keeping up with today's uh, technology in the travel space can really be a full-time job. And so what we wanted to do uh, was help out our clients and prospects by giving them some different solutions and giving them a, just a quick brief overview of what the product can do and, and what it's doing to disrupt the industry. Uh, right now I'd like to introduce Ryan Wanger, uh, previously, a law previously a lawyer in California. Ryan founded and built Wherefore.com, a consumer travel tool, to almost 2 million users. In 2016, he was asked if they could create a solution for the business world um, and, and got to work on that. Two years later, they're now working with the Fortune 10 company and have built and deployed a global o OBT with them. Uh, so without further ado, I'll let Ryan kind of get into the meat and the potatoes of it, and I'll just hand it over to you, Ryan. Excellent. Thank you very much, Brian. And uh, can, you, can everyone hear me okay? We actually have everybody muted for you, Ryan, but we can hear you just fine. Okay, excellent. So, so yeah, Brian, thank you for that introduction. Um, I'm going to spend about the first uh, six or seven minutes overviewing the product, uh, going through this presentation, uh, and then I'm going to spend about six or seven minutes uh, demoing the product, and then I'll leave the last the last third of um, of our of our 20 minutes together to um, give everybody an opportunity to ask questions. So um, so let's start with uh, just the background of the company. Uh, I'll be brief here because there's a lot to go over. Um, as Brian mentioned, we were a consumer software company based in in San Francisco, and um, a Fortune 10 company reached out to us um, and asked us if we can build them a uh, next generation OBT. Um, so they you know, essentially they asked us to solve two problems that they found had no solution in the market. Those two problems were first the the incumbent OBTs are clunky, um, hard to use, consume a lot of uh, time to find the right trips frustrating, you know, lead to a fair amount of complaints among the employees and attrition to consumer travel sites. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with, uh, with, with these complaints. Um, so that was one issue that they um, asked us to address. Um, the second issue was that they felt that the lack of artificial intelligence in online booking tools was leading people to overspend on a massive scale. They felt that the incumbent booking tools um, that people were using were built you know, 20, 30 years ago and didn't have enough guidance to help people make the smartest decisions um, and, 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 and to minimize frivolous spending that can sneak into companies, even the best managed uh, programs through kind of the, 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 the older technology of the current batch of OBTs. So they asked us um, to, 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 to address this problem and we agreed to on the condition that we would be able to resell this platform to other companies. So that's how Where To was born. Uh, we started working together almost two and a half years ago. Uh, we spent about a year, just over a year, building the software, interviewing their travelers, uh, analyzing their traveler data, and then we spent the last eight months or so um, deploying the product and scaling it on a global level. Um, it's been implemented in the United States, Canada, Mexico, uh, uh, Chile, um, and we're deploying to the UK um, in the next month. Um, the customer is under NDA, but has agreed to do select reference calls. So if anybody's interested in talking to our customer to um, 
to learn what experience they've had with us. Um, you can let you can let uh, executive travel or, or us know. Um, so that's yeah, that's the background of, of where to. So that's the that's you know the problem that we went went about to solve. And now I'll get into how we solve the problem. So what is where to? Where to is a breakthrough technology platform that reduces the cost and pain of business travel. We call it where to because. It plans your entire trip around your meeting location in minutes. So all you have to do is enter your meeting location, uh, but either by address or by the business name or by the city name, uh, and it will uh, plan your whole trip uh, based on company policy. So it's called so it's called where to because it's you're just asked where are you going. Where's your business trip? Where's your conference? Where's your meeting? Um, don't have to worry about the planning, the looking at maps. The technology does that work for you. How does it do it? So it's, it's a three-click booking. So the first thing you do is you enter your meeting location, um, as I just mentioned. The second thing is it goes through our algorithm that's customized to your company and tailored to each department. Um, in your company, if you have different, um, if you have different policies for different departments, and it recommends a complete itinerary, the best hotel, the best flight, the best ground transportation. Finally, um, it allows you to book um, whatever is within policy, but sh shives you away from overspending by tracking how much more your selection costs than the benchmark recommendations. As you'll see in a minute, that approach gives people uh, flexibility and freedom. It's not a mandatory program, but on the other hand, the smart recommendations and the, and the overspend tracking helps people, guide, it helps guide people to um, the most reasonable options for each trip, saving your company a tremendous amount of money. Um, so uh, how do you set policy for this product? We have our own very unique policy creator where we give you for the first time complete control over the algorithm that recommends the trips for each meeting location. So this is sort of what it looks like for the flight policy. As you can see, you can choose um, um, you can choose one of these three default programs. So are you trying to minimize the overall travel spend? Are you, on the other hand, trying to minimize traveler burnout or employee attrition? Um, or are you trying to create a balanced program that tries to accomplish both of those goals? So um, as I mentioned, you can either click on one of these policies for a default um, setting, or you can go down here and, and, and you can fine tune your algorithm. So these are the variables that go into the flight algorithm. Price, flight duration, drive time to the airports, traveler preferences, and your preferred suppliers. And then what you can do is you can tweak the importance of these variables, or put a different way, the weight of these variables in your customized algorithm. And then right below this, you can't see it here, you can see <clears throat> what itinerary would be recommended based on that algorithm. So that allows you to move from like an abstract understanding of what your policy is to a specific uh, example of what flight and hotel would be recommended for a specific trip on a specific date range um, for that group. Two other things you can see. Um, you can see the projected savings from your algorithm, and you can see the, the Road Warrior score. This tells you how, is this going to frustrate users, or is this gonna be something that, um, is, 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 your pro, is your travel program gonna be so luxurious that your company can actually market its um, market its benefit to recruits. 
So these two indexes, the budget and the impact score, give you a deeper understanding of the economic impact and the psychological impact of your program. So as you can see, it, it takes uh, policy to a whole other level of granularity. It also, what we've seen is it elevates the role of the travel manager within their company. So no longer is there opacity, no longer is there a disconnect between the travel budget and traveler satisfaction. You have complete uh, oversight and visibility into the relationship between how much your company spends on travel and, and, it, and how happy your travelers are. And it allows you to have a conversation with your CFO or your head of procurement to help set your policy for your company. It's a, it's a really powerful um, um, approach that we've, found, that we've found. The other benefit is we have very deep multi-source shopping. So it searches your preferred channels. Um, it also searches consumer channels and it searches wholesale private channels to find the bare bones cheapest rates and the best perks for each hotel. So if your if your preferred suppliers have an incredible you know last room availability and low rate and free breakfast, great. It will not show another option unless it's cheaper than and has better benefits than your program. Um, and by the way, if you don't want this um, option on the site, you can turn it off with a, with a switch. Having this on, though, will save your company money by reducing your overall hotel spend and keep people on the site because for the first time, they'll be able to see how much uh, a hotel costs on the consumer channels that people are used to going to. And it's all within the program. It's all managed. It's all tracked. Ryan, did we lose you there for a moment? Uh, one moment. It appears we might have lost Ryan Wanger for just a second. Let's see if we can get him back on here. All right, it appears for just a moment, we might have lost Ryan. We're giving him a call here, see if he's available. Let's see. Um, Ryan, are you available? Uh, Eve uh, is part of Word2.com, and I have unmuted Eve to see if she can jump in and, and help out where Ryan left off. I sure can. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm not sure what's happened to Ryan. I see he's still on the call. I, I might have lost sound, so he might be back in a moment. Uh, so uh, what's interesting about the way that Where2 came into existence, and Ryan was told you the story at the top of the call, is that the client that we work with said, you know what, we want to, we want to work with you um, to do fulfillment as well. So we've developed an entire support network um, to, to do fulfillment as well. And that's where we deliver 24 seven support. We also enable our TMC partners uh, like travel to deliver that same 24 seven support utilizing chat. And so there's a chat box on, on, Whenever you're in where to, there's a chat box available and you have the uh, ability to chat to the uh, agent team to give you that support 24-7. Uh, it's available uh, multilingually, as is the site. The site has been translated to Spanish and we're in the midst of uh, moving other languages in as well. Ryan, did you join back? I did, I, it looks like you're back on. 
Uh, it looks like he's just calling in at the moment. So if you want to keep going, as soon as he gets back in, I will loop him in. Okay. Um, do I, I don't know that I have control to move the slide. If you could move to the next slide. I, I don't know. Uh, fortunately, that is Ryan as well. <laughs> Well, well, while we're, while we're, yeah, and I'm not quite sure what happened, but uh, let's see. Hi. Uh, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. I, co I covered. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. Thank you for coming back. No worries. I covered this slide, <laughs> Ryan, so we, we can move on to the next one. Excellent. Thank you. Um, okay. So um, I think at this point, the best thing would be to just show uh, the product. We only have a few minutes left. Um, I'll show it really quick and then um, if, ever, if anybody's interested in uh, a follow-up demo, we can, show, we can show the product using your meeting locations. So we can um, show you the product, uh, give you examples of what the results look like and what the savings will be for your company. Um, I'll, I'll go really quick. So here you put in a starting location. You know, you can put in of course, San Francisco um, or SFO, but it's much more powerful and faster, and you'll save money by putting in a specific location. So you can say, where to? It's right there. Let's say the meeting location is executive, executive travel. You put that in. Boom. It's, it's there waiting for you. Um, put in your dates and times, and you're, you're off to the races. What it's doing now is it's searching for the best flight um, based on this, this company's travel policy. So you can see it's searching um, on, the, on, on the origin side, San Jose, San Francisco, and Oakland. And on the landing side for the meeting, it's looking at both Lincoln and, and Omaha. And it's looking at the commute time between, let's take executive travel, for example. It's looking at how long it's going to take to drive from these two airports to executive travel and then and then recommending the best airport and flight based on your company's values. Um, now, it's also showing you a recommended budget. So I'm free to choose this one. Um, um, I can choose, but if I try to choose one that's significantly more money, um, it will give me this vision field here. Are you sure you want to book a flight that's $100 more than the recommendation? If you say yes, on the next page, you just have to explain your, your overspent. Um, on the hotel side, it works the same way. Um, but just because we're, uh, we're running out of time, um, I will uh, stop and uh, see uh, what questions we have. All right. So if anyone would like to ask any questions, uh, instead of unmuting everybody, uh, I will take some in the chat window. Uh, so we do have one from Ruben Levin, uh, and it asks, what does executive travel have the ability to support the chat feature in where to? Uh, so Ryan, do you have, uh, I know you've, you've worked with us on this, what is the chat feature available in where to? Yep, so this is the chat, uh, this is the chat feature, and it is available through executive travel. It, it connects to your travel agents, so they can book, um, they, can, they, they can answer questions, they can see travel profiles, they can see what's happening in the product. Uh, they, you, you, the executive travel agents are fully able to um, do everything that they normally do through the chat window. Fantastic. And we have a question from Trish as well uh, that asks, what GDS, TMC, and markets is this product available in and with? So it's, uh, you said GDS, what was the second thing? GDS, TMC, so Travel Management Company, um, and Market. Yep, so um, we, so GDS, it's built in Travelport. Um, we are able to connect to other, t to uh, the other GDSs if necessary. Uh, we can just have a conversation about that. Um, TMCs, it's, um, we have pre preferred uh, TMCs, so Executive Travel is a preferred TMC. Um, they're very qualified and capable of running this operation. Um, we also have our own TMC that's available. Um, and then finally, we can work with um, any company's current TMC if they really 
love the technology, but are uh, not interested in switching tendencies. All right. And Ryan, the last question uh, that we have time for today before we do the wrap up uh, is from Annabelle. And it asks, uh, hi, how is reporting on savings done? How do you reflect the savings? And what is it based on? What comparison? And we actually do have one quick question after that we'll ask you as well. Yep, yep. And, and I invite, you know, more questions as I'm talking through this until the last minute. Um, we, the overspend is based on uh, how much people and departments are spending compared to the recommended budget. So remember, you control how the, what kind of budget is recommended based on the, 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 um, the admin panel that I showed you. That kind of establishes whether it's going to have a high, medium, or low budget for each trip. And then what we report is how much each person, department, or region spends above that threshold and why. Because remember, you can explain if you, if you're overspent. Um, so that's the basis of, um, of the overspend reports. Sorry, what, what was right. the other question? Or was that it? Uh, well, I was just asking what it was based on. But uh, Ryan, I have about 15 seconds for you to answer this question before we've hit our 20 minute mark. Uh, yeah. Does this does where to integrate with concur expense? Um, yes, it integrates with concur expense. So it's just it gets seem your info gets seamlessly pushed um, to concur from our platform. And we and lastly we we uh, welcome um, anybody to uh, either demo or um, try out the product. We can set up a small pilot program to so that you can see side by side how um, this product compares to your current product without making a complete uh, switch of what you have. Just reach out to um, Executive Travel um, or uh, Eve at where2.com. That's Eve is our, is our head of global sales and, and she'd be happy to help you. All right, thanks so much, Ryan. We really appreciate um, you taking the time out of your schedule to give us a little briefing on the product and kind of what you're doing to kind of disrupt the travel industry and change kind of how everything is being done. Really appreciate it. What you're working on is really neat. We really enjoy it. Um, I, I do want to let everybody know that a, a recording uh, and a copy of the pre presentation will be emailed to everyone after this uh, webinar does conclude. Um, so if you do have any more questions or an additional, you know, want to see a demo, anything like that, uh, you, you, you will have Ryan's uh, contact info, info on, the, on the PowerPoint deck. You could also reach out to me. I am Ryan Swihart at Executive Travel. Um, and then I did want to let you guys know that the next uh, Travel Tech and Webinars uh, will be LUMO. Um, LUMO is meant to minimize the impact of flight disruptions. That's going to be on February 7th. Traxo, uh, tra Traxo allows you to capture all travel spend, uh, allowing nothing to slip through the cracks. Uh, that's going to be on February 21st. And MetaPlanner, uh, a, a, a new technology that's connecting your online booking tool to your calendar for travel planning made simple on March 7th. Uh, again, this is uh, Travel Tech in 20, and we, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to learn a little bit more about what's going on in, in our industry. So uh, with that, I will just uh, uh, thank you guys so much, and, and here's signing off.